So today I'm going to talk about uh, candidiasis and uh, there are two types, acute and chronic, and it is more common in the mouth. Uh, the uh, most usual infection is acute oral candidiasis, though it can occur in other places where mucosa exists as well. Esophageal candidiasis is there and vaginal candidiasis is also there. So, uh, candidiasis is usually seen as uh, an acute entity and mostly in the mouth. So, uh, it is also commonly known as uh, thrush and uh, monoliasis, uh, or monoliasis uh, uh, of the oral cavity. Uh, it is caused by candida albicans and uh, what we see is that in the mouth there are soft and creamy and yellow curd-like patches which are formed on the surface of mucous membrane and is mostly seen in, uh, in, in some people in, in some categories like debilitated elderly persons or debilitated newborns and children uh, also in the immunocompromised uh, patients or diabetics or those who have HIV infection or those who are uh, on chemotherapy or a local irradiation and also those who are taking broad spectrum antibiotics or corticosteroids. Now, when these patches are rubbed off, they leave an erythematous base. Now, this is something which differentiates it from uh, leukoplakia and also the chronic type of, uh, of candidiasis, the hypertrophic type. Uh, because in the chronic hypertrophic candidiasis I'm going to talk uh, about later, uh, and also in the leukoplakia, uh, the patches are very, very similar but cannot be rubbed off. That's a very differentiating and a good point uh, in, uh, in differentiating these two conditions. So the diagnosis is made when we take a swab from the oral cavity and we analyze it under a microscope and we see uh, uh, some fungal hyphae. Uh, this condition is usually treated by tropical, uh, by tropical antifungal agents. Usually nystatin is used in the form of either drops or lozenges. And the uh, local application of uh, gentian violet is also very effective, but the disadvantage is that it stains your mouth. Also, uh, topical clotrimazole uh, is a very, very promising drug. And in resistant cases, however, systemic antifungals like ketoconazole or fluconazole are used. Uh, the other type is chronic and it is hypertrophic candidiasis, uh, uh, chronic hypertrophic candidiasis, which is persistent, uh, which has uh, persistent white plots and uh, they are very difficult to differentiate from leukoplakia because they also cannot be rubbed or wiped off. But uh, when we scrape them, uh, the lesion, uh, this will show again the presence of fungus as a hyphae under the microscope and the treatment is the same with the same topical or systemic antifungal agents. This is all about candidiasis uh, signing off.